the Hotel Chelsea Euro also called the Chelsea Hotel, or simply the Chelsea Euro is a historic New York City hotel and landmark built between 1883 and 1885, known primarily for the notability of its residents over the years. The 250-unit hotel is located at 222 West 23rd Street, between 7th and 8th Avenues, in the neighborhood of Chelsea, Manhattan. The building has been a designated New York City landmark since 1966, and on the National Register of Historic Places since 1977. It has been the home of numerous writers, musicians, artists and actors, including Bob Dylan, Virgil Thompson, Bridget Berlin, Brendan Bean, Sam Shepard, Charles Bukowski, Janis Joplin, Tom Waits, Leonard Cohen, Patti Smith, Iggy Pop, Viva, Gabby Hoffman. Jim Carroll, Joe Brioff, and Larry Rivers. Though the Chelsea no longer accepts new long-term residencies, the building is still home to many who lived there before the change in policy. As of August 1, 2011, the hotel is closed for renovations. Arthur C. Clarke wrote 2001, A Space Odyssey while staying at the Chelsea, and poets Allen Ginsberg and Gregory Corso chose it as a place for philosophical and artistic exchange. It is also known as the place where the writer Dylan Thomas was staying when he died of pneumonia on November 9, 1953, and where Nancy Spungen, girlfriend of Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols, was found stabbed to death on October 12, 1978. Arthur Miller has written a short piece, The Chelsea Effect, describing life at Hotel Chelsea in the early 1960s. History Built between 1883 and 1885 and opened for initial occupation in 1884, the 12-story red brick building that is now the Hotel Chelsea was one of the city's first private apartment cooperatives. It was designed by Philip Hubert of the firm of Hubert, Psen and Company in a style that has been described variously as Queen Anne Revival and Victorian Gothic. Among its distinctive features are the delicate, flower-ornamented iron balconies on its façade which were constructed by J.B. and J.M. Cornell and its grand staircase, which extends upward 12 floors. Generally, this staircase is only accessible to registered guests, although the hotel does offer monthly tours to others. At the time of its construction, the building was the tallest in New York. Hubert and Pson had created a Hubert Home Club in 1880 for the Rembrandt, a six-story building on West 57th Street intended as housing for artists. This early cooperative building had rental units to help defray costs, and also provided servants as part of the building staff. The success of this model led to other Hubert home clubs, and the Chelsea was one of them. Initially successful, its surrounding neighborhood constituted the center of New York's theatre district. However within a few years the combination of economic stresses, the suspicions of New York's middle class about apartment living, the opening up of Upper Manhattan and the plentiful supply of houses there, and the relocation of the city's theater district bankrupted the Chelsea. In 1905, the building reopened as a hotel, which was later managed by Knott Hotels and resident manager A. O. Welty. After the hotel went bankrupt, it was purchased in 1939 by Joseph Gross, Julius Krauss, and David Bard, and these partners managed the hotel together until the early 1970s. With the passing of Joseph Gross and Julius Krauss, the management fell to Stanley Bard, David Bard's son. On June 18, 2007, the hotel's board of directors ousted Bard as the hotel's manager. Dr. Marlene Krauss, the daughter of Julius Krauss, and David Elder, the grandson of Joseph Gross and the son of playwright and screenwriter Lun Elder III, replaced Stanley Bard with a management company BD Hotels NY. That firm has since been terminated as well. In May 2011, the hotel was sold to real estate developer Joseph Chetret for 80 million US dollars. As of August 1, 2011, the hotel stopped taking reservations for guests in order to begin renovations, but long-time residents remain in the building, some of them protected by state rent regulations. The renovations prompted complaints by the remaining tenants of health hazards caused by the construction. These were investigated by the city's building department, which found no major violations. In November 2011, the management ordered all of the hotel's many artworks taken off the walls, 
supposedly for their protection and cataloging, a move which some tenants interpreted as a step towards forcing them out as well. In 2013, Edge Eats became the Chelsea Hotel's new owner after buying back five properties from Joseph Chetret, his partner in King and Grove Hotels, and David Beestresser. Hotel Chelsea is now managed by Chelsea Hotels, formerly King and Grove Hotels. Restoration and renovation is underway and Hotel Chelsea plans to reopen in 2016. Notable residents. Equals literary artists equals. During its lifetime Hotel Chelsea has provided a home to many great writers and thinkers including Mark Twain, O. Henry, Herbert Hoonk, Dylan Thomas, Arthur C. Clarke, William S. Burroughs, Gregory Corso, Arnold Weinstein, Leonard Cohen, Charmaine Leland S. T. John, Arthur Miller, Quentin Crisp, Gore Vidal, Tennessee Williams, Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, Robert Hunter, Jack Gantos, Brendan Bean, Simone de Beauvoir, John Paul Sartre, Thomas Wolfe, Charles Bukowski, Raymond Kennedy, Matthew Richardson, James T. Farrell, Valerie Solanas, Mary Cantwell, Rene Ricard and Brad Gooch. Charles A. Jackson, author of The Lost Weekend, committed suicide in his room on September 21, 1968. Equals actors and film directors equals, the hotel has been a home to actors and film directors such as Stanley Kubrick, Jonas Meekers, Shirley Clark, Hal Miller, Mitch Hedberg, Dave Hill, Marlo Foreman, Lily Langtry, Ethan Hawke, Dennis Hopper, Vincent Gallo, Patricia Chaika, Maria Beatty, Eddie Izzard, Uma Thurman, Elliot Gould, Elaine Stritch, Howard Bruckner, Michael Imperioli, Jane Fonda, Russell Brand, Gabby Hoffman and her mother, the Warhol film star Viva, and Edie Sedgwick. Equals musicians equals, much of Hotel Chelsea's history has been colored by the musicians who have resided or visited there. Some of the most prominent names include Grateful Dead, Tom Waits, Patti Smith, Iggy Pop, Bobby Werner Street, Maud Fun, Virgil Thompson, Chick Corea, Alexander Frey, Jeff Beck, D.D. Ramon, Johnny Thunders, Mink Deville, Phil Lynott, Paul Jones, Cher, Henri Chopin, John Cale, a Permil Dith Piaf. Joni Mitchell, Bob Dylan, Alice Cooper, Alejandro Escobedo, Janis Joplin, Bette Midler, Pink Floyd, Jimi Hendrix, Peter Walker, Count Heat, Sid Vicious, J.D. Stokes, Vivian Stanshall, Richard Hell, Joe Blayauf Boone, Little Annie, Lottie Golden, Rufus Wainwright, Lance Loud, Abdullah Ibrahim Sathim Abi Benjamin Jean Guy, Bassent Ree, Jacques Labouchier, and Leonard Cohen. Madonna lived at the Chelsea in the early 80s, returning in 1992 to shoot photographs for her book, Sex, in Room 822. Musician, gay civil rights icon and Stonewall veteran Stormer Copyright Delavery resided at the hotel for several decades. Falco, Ryan Adams, The Libertines, The Fuse, Michael McDermott, Melissa Off Der Mum, Tim Friedman, and Anthony Kaidis have spent time at the Chelsea. Taylor Momsen's band, The Pretty Reckless, did a photo shoot in room 822 of the Chelsea. British pop brand La Rue shot the second version of the music video for their song and for The Kill at the Chelsea. The video for Dave Garland's solo single Saw Something was filmed in the hotel. Equals visual artists equals, the hotel has featured and collected the work of the many visual artists who have passed through. Robert Blackburn, Doris Chase, Larry Rivers, Brett Whiteley, Christo, Armin, Francesco Clement, Julian Schnabel, Ching Ho Cheng, David Renfrey, Philip Taff, Ralph Gibson, Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivera, Robert Crumb, Ellen Cantor, Low C. Doris, Jasper Johns, Edie Sedgwick, Clay Oldenburg, Varley Myers, Donald Baneckler, Herbert Gentry, Willem de Kooning, Robert McLeithorpe, Lynn Drexler, Moses Sawyer, Nora Sumberg, and Henri Cartier-Bresson have all spent time at the hotel. Experimental filmmaker and ethnomusicologist Harry Everett Smith lived and died in room 328. The painter Alpheus Philemon Cole lived there for 35 years until his death in 1988 at age 112. Equals fashion designers equals, Charles James, 
credited with being America's first couturier who influenced fashion in the 1940s and 1950s, moved into the Chelsea in 1964. He died there of pneumonia in 1978. Equals Warhol Superstars equals, Hotel Chelsea is often associated with the Warhol Superstars, as Andy Warhol and Paul Morrissey directed Chelsea Girls, a film about his factory regulars and their lives at the hotel. Chelsea residents from the Warhol scene included Edie Sedgwick, Viva, Ultraviolet, Mary Waranov, Holly Woodlawn, Andrea Feldman, Nico, Paul America, Rena Copyright Ricard, and Bridget Berlin. Equals others equals, New York event promoter Suzanne Barch lives at the Chelsea Hotel. The French-Chinese event planner and consultant in the fashion industry, Man Law Liang has been residing in the Chelsea since the 80s. Several survivors of the Titanic stayed for some time in this hotel as it is a short distance from Pier 54, the White Star Line dock where the Titanic was supposed to dock. The Chelsea was also home to many sailors returning from their duties in World War I. Ruth Harkness, an adventurer naturalist who brought the first lived giant panda from China to the U.S. in the 1930s, stayed at the Chelsea Hotel after her return to the States. Brendan Bean, Irish playwright, whose plays, such as The Queer Fellow, The Hostage, and The Borstal Boy ran on Broadway, stayed at the Chelsea for eight months at the invitation of manager Stanley Bard. Writer, investor, and entrepreneur James Earl Toucher lived at the hotel in the mid-1990s. In popular culture, equals films and television equals, the hotel has been featured in. Equals music equals. The hotel is also featured in numerous songs, including equals books equals references external links Chelsea Hotel a Euro New York architecture images 360 degree panoramas of Chelsea Hotel before 2011 a Euro 2012 renovations Chelsea's new proprietor a Euro Wall Street Journal Ed Hamilton one of the last Chelsea Hotel Bohemians the Somerville News January 30 2013